I'm going to be making some button canvases. Now, this is a button canvas I made a couple of years ago. And the only reason I haven't made any more is because I wanted to see if the buttons actually stuck because there'd be no, nothing worse than giving a button canvas to somebody and or selling it even and then the buttons would fall off but I can safely say by using my glue gun that I'm going to show you later they haven't dropped off it's been hanging up in my kitchen um, so that is brilliant I made a template just cut it out with a craft knife from a 12 by 12 piece of card laid it over and it was it was a lovely project to do so I thought right I'm gonna make something a little bit different so I've been working on this it's not quite finished yet i'm going to do a little bit more in a minute this is inspired by a lovely nighttime ride from a craft show that we i'd been at with a friend um and it was it was dark and the moon was shining because we we live in a city we're not used to the countryside where it's, there's, it's just dark and the moon was shining. And it was shining onto the leaves and the leaves were dropping and they were all glistening. That's why I put lots of creamy gliss, gliss, glistening buttons. Is glistening a word? I don't think it is, but anyway, shiny buttons. Um, and the, the wind was blowing and they were arching over. So how i started this canvas was i did my it was an old it's an upcycle it's an old canvas picture that i picked up in a charity shop so i deco patched as i am apt to do deco patched over it and then using my little dauber i got some inks and i just roughly inked it in browns and oranges a little hint of purple just to give it that texture and i like quite like the way here that it's sort of peeling off a bit that gives it extra texture too and then i cut out the tree and i did that on textured paper and i inked it over and then I use this lovely can you see that this lovely little bark template laid it across in randomly and made the lovely bark texture so then I made a, a rough pattern, sketched it out, and laid my buttons. Oh look, these are from another, it's from another project. Laid my buttons out and then just started to place them on. Now I've been using, it's heated up already, here, I've been using just this little glue gun that I got from a craft shop. And as I say, the buttons have stayed on, so it's fantastic. So mind your fingers as you're doing it because, you know, it's a little bit hot. So I just, can you see that? Yes, you can. I put on a dollop of glue and I just place the buttons like that. Like that. So I just carry on. 
I know I had them out on the sheet, but I think you can just, you don't need to stick to what you've done on your pattern. You can just see how it feels. Now for the first time, I've started to put the buttons on top of one another to give it some height, give it some depth. And I'm just gonna to continue to put these on like so. It gives a little thread and you have to go like that. And you find that when it's dry, more con time consuming than actually gluing the buttons on. When it's dry, pulling off the little tiny threads just with some tweezers just to finish it off. I think uh, yesterday I was putting too much glue on. Um, oh, I've got to get the balance right. Um, next time, There's all the little leaves that are falling in the moonlight. Alright, next time I think I'm going to take it one step further. It's going to be very time consuming, but I think I'm going to sit one evening and thread up all the buttons. So when you look at it, it's not just buttons, they're actually sewn. They've got thread in them. I've just got one couple of vintage buttons here and they've all they've already got the original threading. I've posted a picture of that. Um, yes, I think I'm going to do that. You learn every project you do, you do differently. And you're going to, hopefully this will inspire you to make your own canvas, a simple one like the flower or something that you invent yourself. I'm going to carry on with this and I'm going to say goodbye and see you next time. Thank you.